here we go. Show me something for week 10. I was so excited when I saw this in the outline. We haven't done it all year. Peter King, you are up in the Daniel Jones Memorial Show Me Something draft. Show me something, Russell Wilson. So Pittsburgh goes to Washington, a legitimate challenge for the Steelers. And look, Russell Wilson has looked reborn in his first two weeks quarterback and put up 63 points. Uh, looks like the old Russ throwing the deep ball well. He and Pickens, match made in heaven. But now, in the span of eight days, Russell Wilson, you're going up against Washington and Baltimore. Those are two of the top six, seven teams in the NFL. And now it's time really to show me something, Russell Wilson. Show me something, Joe Flacco. Anthony Richardson was benched specifically because Shane Steichen and the powers that be in Indianapolis believed that Joe Flacco could come in and stabilize things, win enough games to save everyone's job. It did not look good on Monday, Sunday, Monday, easy for him to say, Sunday night in Minnesota. Now the Bills come to town. Flacco's on the field. They're sticking with him. He's got to win. Or why not? If he's not going to win, why not put Richardson back out there and let him get the reps to develop? This is a key game for Joe Flacco to show everyone something, me and the Colts, in order to continue Joe Flacco on the field over Anthony Richardson. Show me something, Christian McCaffrey. So we all assume that Christian McCaffrey makes uh, his first uh, appearance of this season after ruining everyone's fantasy team. For all those who had the first pick in the draft, you're all screwed. And you have been the whole year because you took McCaffrey and for the first nine weeks, he just hasn't been there. So now we assume he's going to play in Tampa. But Mike, what is really troubling, I think, is the amount of pressure there will be on Christian McCaffrey if he does take the field. Because look, you're playing one of the most powerful offenses in the NFL, even though both of the receivers, you know, the receiver depth in Tampa is now really being tested. But this is a game where Christian McCaffrey is really going to hit, have to hit the ground running. Show me something, Christian McCaffrey. Show me that borderline MVP form that the 49ers are desperately counting on in the second half of the season. Show me something, Bobby Slowick. We talked about this earlier in the program, but I think the Texans' approach last Thursday night was not ideal, to say the least. This is a guy who has gone from being potential head coaching candidate to what's he really doing with this offense? You got to use Joe Mixon more if you're going to have a chance against the Detroit Lions. You got to take some of the heat off of C.J. Stroud. You got to hope that you can get something out of your line in order to neutralize the Lions pass rush to have any chance to avoid falling to six and four. We need to take a break. We'll do round three with Peter King next here on PFT Live. Oh, it's been a great day here on PFT Live. Peter King is back. Show Me Something is back. Round three is up. Peter, who do you have? Show Me Something, Daniel Jones. And Mike, really, <laughs> he does have to show Brian Dayball and Joe Shane something in Germany on Sunday. You said it. Everybody has said it. When are they going to yank Daniel Jones? This is his last best opportunity to show that he can salvage career and be the Giants guy. I think there's only about a 15% chance of that, 10 maybe. But if you can't beat the two and seven Panthers, no matter where it is, Munich or Dusseldorf, uh, it's it, you don't belong. So show me something, Daniel Jones. The folks in Germany have to be wondering, who did we piss off to get that game, <laughs> Giants-Panthers this year? Uh, show me something, Todd Bowles. I've been doing my best to defend him this week in response to the criticism for the decision to not go for two at the end of the game against the Chiefs. He should have gone they for did two. Not, they did not handle the clock properly. But as he talks about it more, I just really wonder how much attention to detail there really is in Tampa. And he's got to show not just a team that can finally win a game because they're in a three-game losing streak. they got the 49ers coming to town. You need to see a greater attention to detail. And when it's time to explain these decisions – the explanation needs to inspire more confidence that there is that attention to detail that can make a difference in a big game. All right, Peter, 
thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you again. I look forward to doing it soon. The door is always open here. And thank you so much. Great to talk to you. We're going to take a break. We'll have more PFT Live right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.